we get started with today's video, I wanna tell you guys about an awesome company that is helping out with one of the biggest issues that faces all rideshare drivers as well as gig economy workers in general. And what is that issue? It's the issue that if you're not working, you're not getting paid. And no company has taken care of that yet so far. Until now, Cover. You can check them out in the video description below. There's a link there. If you're sick, if you're injured, or if you're in an accident, your car's in the shop, any of those things, Cover has you covered up to 80% of your income and they pay out the same day. So for a free 30 day trial with Cover, click on the link in the video description below. All right, let's get on with today's video. Hey Rideshare gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of the Rideshare Hub. I'm Jacob Letman. Got another great episode for you today. Might surprise you what the topic is, even though you read the headline of this video before you clicked on it, so you already know, but still might surprise you. Anyway, hey, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and here's why, because Every time that we come out with a new video, you're gonna get a notification on your phone, ping, you're gonna be able to hit that, see our new video, new information. Why is that important? Well, big deal that's just happening right now in California, right? They're looking at changing rideshare drivers from independent contractors to employees. That's a huge change. And so Dylan brought out a great video, all the inside information, that you need to know about that. So anyway, there's big information coming out all the time and when we come, when we hear about it, we come out with a new video and you can get that right away if you subscribe to our channel. All right, uh, hey, if you haven't started driving for Rideshare, jump down into the description below, you'll find some links, you can click on those, follow them through, you'll get sign-on bonuses to start driving. Even though after today's video, you might not wanna drive, but that's up to you to decide. All right, so what are we talking about today? I'm talking about five reasons why you should not, that's right, not drive rideshare. I felt it was important to come out with this video because, uh, well, we've had a few people mention it in uh, the comment section below in other videos. And contrary to some people's popular belief, we're not actually a channel that's promoting rideshare driving. What? 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 That's right. No, what we're doing is we're bringing you all of the knowledge and information that us veteran drivers have after driving for years and giving thousands of rides. We want to share all of that information with you because there is so much mixed information about rideshare driving and it's such a a jumbled topic, uh, which is exactly why they're reviewing it in California. It's not straightforward at all. There's a lot of things to take into account as far as you know, time spent driving, how much money is actually made, how much money it actually costs drivers to use their vehicles and, and gas and um, bonuses. So there's tons of stuff to take into consideration. So our job on this channel is to give you all the information that we have in the best way, most accurate way possible so that you can take it into account and make an informed decision on what works best for you. That's our goal and so that's why we're having today's video topic. All right, so let's kick this thing off. Five reasons not to drive rideshare. Number one, that is car wear and tear. Um, I love my vehicle, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I have to use you so much. I love my vehicle. I've given um, nearly a thousand rides now, I believe. A lot of highway miles on my vehicle. I put on 80,000 miles in two and a half years uh, total driving. And my paint job has a lot of nicks and scratches from rocks. I just had to replace my windshield because it had several cracks in it from rocks from driving around passengers. Uh, as we all know, tires and oil changes, um, well, we'll get, actually, that's another thing, that's maintenance, but um, tires and then engine wear and tear, all components wear and tear, really. Interior, you get stains and scratches and nicks and dings. So, 
sad, sad but true, our cars take a big hit when we're driving for rideshare. Number two, we're independent contractors. Once again, could be changing in California, which could change things nationwide, so keep up on that. That could be a big deal. As of now, we're all independent contractors, which means we are responsible, one, for using our own tools, which happens to be our vehicle, um, and there's no benefits, right, in being an independent contractor. No healthcare benefits, no time off, or paid time off, sick days, um, what else? Oh, uh, no retirement, paying into that. So, yeah, we gotta take care of all that on our own. Number three, this is a big one, and that's inconsistent pay. You know, any other job you go to, you clock in, you know exactly what you're going to be making each hour. Rideshare driving, not at all. It is a huge ebb and flow of highs and lows, which is another reason we have this channel to help you maximize making profits when you do drive. And uh, I've gone hours, geez, I have literally gone hours and made like less than $10 before it's been terrible. Um, and then other times, rides are just flowing in, tips are flowing in, things are good. So big ebb and flow, inconsistent pay. Number four. It's a little harsh, but true. Uber and Lyft don't really care about us. They don't. They're a big business and they care about profits over people. That is one of the things that comes with capitalism. Big business businesses are responsible to their bottom line and of course they have to do what they need to do as far as customer service and taking care of drivers and passengers. But when it comes down to it, they don't really care if you can't pay your rent and they don't care if you can't make your car payment or they don't care if your car did break down and you can't drive, I don't really care. So harsh reality of it, but uh, there's no lenience with that. Um, again, being an independent contractor, they just have other independent contractors, so we're expendable. And number five, and that is expenses. And there are quite a few. Now, even though these are tax write-offs, you still have to have this money in the bank in order to be able to even rideshare drive. And those things are being able to pay for gas, your rideshare insurance, um, a car payment if you do have one, you have to pay for your car maintenance, and then we're also responsible for paying our own taxes, right? If you're an employee, your employer will take out those taxes, um, things like Social Security and Medicaid, Medicare, um, so yeah, we also have to set aside money from what we're making and pay it to Uncle Sam. Again, our goal on the Rideshare Hub channel is to give you all the information as best we can so that you can make an informed decision on doing what works best for you. If you took something away from this video, I appreciate a big thumbs up. And until the next time, drive safe, or if you're not gonna drive, be safe and take care. We'll see you.